Good evening, Twitch. How you doing? It's March 8th, 2021. It's Monday. How's it going, Dick Magician? Whose emotes are those? Gaijin. Ah, Gaijin Goomba. There's a name I haven't heard in a long, long time. I was never really... Actually, no, I'm not going to say I wasn't a fan of its work. I knew about its work. But I'll be honest, I didn't have much of an interest in it. <laughs> but I know he definitely has a following in this day and age. Because it shows the purpose that, hey, you might as well, you can create any sort of content as long as you're willing to create some sort of character persona and you make good production value from it, which is what he does. I'm going to give you a gift sub during his live stream in the Monster Hunter event today. Interesting. Yeah, so apparently there was, so apparently from what you told me, there was a Monster Hunter event today. Unfortunately, I didn't take the time to actually, uh... Didn't actually go to watch it, but when I was about to actually sit down and watch it, I uh, had to actually quick get, quickly go out and uh, do a little bit of shopping, actually. So I wasn't able to watch whatever. Apparently, what I'm from, uh, blah, 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 I am stuttering here. Uh, talking about Monster Hunter 2 Stories and, of course, Monster Hunter Rise. Hey, how's it going, Newton? How are you doing today? How was your, we your weekends, guys? Hopefully you did anything fun. Hopefully you did something interesting. Hopefully, at the very least, you had a good weekend. But yeah, the Monster Hunter event. Unfortunately, I didn't watch it. Uh, I'll be honest. I actually am still conflicted about Rise. Because if I should honestly get the Switch version. Or if I should just wait an entire year and get the PC version. Continue a bit. Ooh, I want to actually hear about that, honestly, from you, Newton. I want to hear all about that. Like, what kind of game that was? I've wanted to actually play that game. But unfortunately, I obviously don't own a PlayStation 3. So that kind of makes it very difficult to actually do. Kind of wish that was actually a possibility. Hi, just, just, just a little bit there. I, I wanted because I actually saw the art style. I was really inter interested in it, but I just didn't have the console for it. And I had to look in, you know, so I had to look in my wallet and go like, "You got to be smart with your money." You know, it's like, can I actually afford and support? And I kind of like honestly, right now, I kind of regret buying a Switch. It's not because like the games on the Switch are bad or anything like that. It's because simply. Well, two parts. One, I, do I really actually just buy all these games digitally and then not actually own anything in the end? Or because the, uh, the Switch is a tablet and not just an actual console, when that battery goes kaput, that's it. You got to go out and buy yourself a new Switch. And knowing Nintendo, I don't know when they're going to actually say, hey, we're going to just stop production. It's definitely strange, but the game is definitely not kid friendly. Oh, I knew the game was, wasn't going to be kid friendly. I mean, NIS, NIS, you look at it and it looks kid friendly, but then you realize, you know what? This is anime, so it most likely isn't. I mean, I wouldn't even recommend any of the Disgaea games. I wouldn't re tell them, like, oh, could Lapu sell tactics. Oh, yeah, completely family friendly. No, they've never been family friendly. I'm still wondering if they're going to have crossplay due to the hunter card system and it lets you join friends without adding them to your friends list. I'm sure Capcom has to find a way. Uh, I would not be surprised if they have some sort of subsystem. It'll probably be completely crazy. I'm actually surprised if they had this event here. They haven't talked about playing the game with friends. I feel like that should actually be one of the biggest priorities that they should actually have with that game. Because it's kind of important, honestly, with Kunsa Monster Hunter. I mean, yeah, sure, guys like me can just play these games solo and not have to worry about it. And even though we're creating online sessions and stuff joining, you know, it's still important to be able to actually sit down and play with friends. But, you know what, why don't we actually sit back, let's jump into it, let's start up Monster Hunter World, and let's get to hunting here. If I actually remember which button to actually press this time. Might have to adjust the volume, so apologies if the audio comes off a bit strong at the start. 
Hopefully we got everything set up properly. You streamed a bit of it and wow. Ooh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to check out your past broadcasts. I hope you archive your streams at the very least. I always thought it was like a dungeon crawler game, but like I said, I I didn't even I, I still can't even find anything. Well, thank you plenty of time for gifting Dank Magician a sub here. <laughs> Much appreciated. Hopefully you're doing well plenty of time. But yeah, so I got this game very, very late. I have played this game for quite a bit, actually. Surprisingly, actually, a lot of it. And this was back when I didn't get the game when it was new. I got the game when like it was on sale and I played you know, I played a little bit. I was like, oh, maybe I could play with uh, Otto and uh, Juker. And that happened a little bit. But it didn't happen often. And the way the story mode is in this game, you're probably all aware of it. Uh, the story mode system is god-awful when it comes to playing with friends. And... So more or less, I kind of played most of the game by myself, actually. You know, there were a few times once I finally got caught up, and I only really played the vanilla version. And once I got to the vanilla version in the end game, I kind of wanted to actually focus on doing the quests at their at the intended difficulty instead of just simply buying Iceborne. Because, well, once again, I kind of I could buy Ice was it Monster Hunter World on sale, but Iceborne wasn't on sale. The story mode progression was pretty frustrating. Yeah. But, for the sake of things... And I'll actually update these here. I'll actually change our starting area here. You only have Vanilla World on Xbox? Ah. Let me see here, actually. You've been tasked with investigating the new subspecies. I look forward to working with you. A temporary partner? So here's where I am in terms of the world. Um, obviously, I'm Celiana. As you saw, I just had the serious handler. So uh, my current handler left with the tracker to go discover what's going on. This is my favorite outfit, honestly. I love the brigade uh, skin here. It's like a strange style of beat- really? 100 nights of beat -em up game? The goal for the game is to help the Swamp Witch extend her swamp since she is tra uh, trapped in her swamp. The combat is strange, so for each combo you have to set up each weapon for swing you do. Huh. And you only level up when you go back to base. That sounds interesting, actually. Man, it does make me wish I actually had it. So, like I said, I've played this game a little bit here, so I think- I've only done... Actually, you know what? Here, this would probably be a better way to actually kind of show what we've done here. I don't know how much you guys play, but... So, let's see. I've done... Baptism by Ice, Van Barrow Blockade, and Ready to Strike. So, I'm not that far into this, actually. I've only been mainly doing the optional quests here, so I did all the optional quests I have available to me. Um... It was only recently, uh, investigations are pointless, and apparently, I guess if anything, all the events are going to be, are constantly available now, and I've kind of just been doing a little bit of those, not too many. That's kind of where I am here. I did actually, like I said, when I played the vanilla content, I actually made sure it's like, hey, I want to get, I want to get true Gabolg. I want to be able to get that, so I did. And same thing with, as you can see, I'm a huge... I play this game using the uh, Sword and Shield. Actually, I might have a better way to show things off here. It might be a better way. Uh, it's been a while, so if I remember correctly... What was the button? Player list? Oh god, that's the online session ID. All right, well, here, give me one second, actually. I can actually put that in. 
It's a shame they don't actually give a, uh, a copy option. This is this not feel like an ideal situation here. I did not feel like a, a simple situation there, but I'll update the title of the stream here. Let's see, is this it? Uh, I think inspect element? No, inspect equipment. View profile, I think it is. No, that's not it. <laughs> that's Steam. It's gotta be. I remember there was like a profile guild card, maybe? You my own guild card? Here we go. Yeah, so this will actually uh, kind of show things off a little bit better. I don't know why my primary group is still like the holiday sale community, but it is. But let's see here. So you can see here, uh, yeah, my weapon usage is a little bit biased. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> I really like the sword and shield. I was messing around with all the other weapons and I'm like... I really just like the sword and shield. Because as a soloist player... I don't care if you call like, all the other weapons. I'll actually say this about Joe Crap's videos. It is the jack of all trades weapon. It literally does everything I actually want it to do and has the capability of actually interacting with every single mechanic this game has to offer with the exception of range. But I'm able to actually handle any situation the way I want it. And I really like that about the sword and shield. And once I was kind of left alone, I really either didn't have the courage to ask people, it's like, hey, play with me, or hey, do you actually want to play a game? And the only reason I've ever used the light bowgun, bow gun, and I'll tell you actually, that the reason why I've actually used the light bowgun... Yeah, so 82 low ranks, 239 high ranks, master, rank, master ranks at 48, investigations 147, so that's apparently its own category. Let's see, Palico stats, though he's at level 37. Tail Riders, I... Oh, right, the Tail Riders, the groups you actually support. If you saw your guild card, it would be the same, but with the Charge Blade. I don't blame you, honestly. Charge Blade actually... Like, I would actually say if I was interested in the Charge Blade, but... I already knew a person who actually was using the Charge Blade, and I was really hoping to be able to play with them, but... It never happened, unfortunately. So these are all the achievements, arena records. I barely touch the arena, honestly. I really should, because I feel like there's obviously still a lot of really cool things to actually mess with it. But as of late, I know obviously I'm wearing a layered outfit, so let's actually... I don't have many of the layered outfits. I have some of them. Brigade is obviously my favorite out of the group. Let's see. Can I actually just remove it? So currently I'm actually using the... Uh, oh, what was what was the actor's name for the Monster Hunter movie? Mila. I don't want to say Mila Yankovic. That's absolutely incorrect. She did the Resident Evil movies because you know apparently she has to be contractually ob obligated to be in every single. Is it Mila Yankovic? I'd be surprised if it was Yankovic. Like, I feel like I'm mixing up weird Al Yankovic here. But I like using the brigade skill, or brigade armor, pretty much over all the others. Although I do like the direwolf outfit. For, like, the cutscenes and stuff, I really actually like it. And you can tell. Yeah, my favorite color's red. My favorite color's red. Oh, it is, uh, Yavovic. Okay. I'm actually surprised. We, uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. We were close. We were close. Yeah, so I'm pretty much using the Artemis mail because it actually reminds me of the uh, the Gala armor, actually, because it well, not it doesn't give you regeneration health here, but um, the high chance of quest rewards. Let me actually take a look here. Actually, I'm curious. Let's see if we can find the darn thing. Is that it? There it is. Yeah, uh, here it is. Astera Blessing. Great luck. This is pretty much the armor I actually used when I played through the game Vanilla. 
It just gave better rewards. You love the moss wine help? I think I have that. That's I like to think I do. I probably actually don't. I'm very stingy in terms of actually making armor. I think it was only a little bit later I finally said, all right, I'm just, no, I actually don't have the actual helmet. I guess I only have it as a uh, layered. I guess I only have it as a layered. But it's only recently I'm actually slowly starting to actually change out and starting to actually use the Artemis armors and building swords and shield builds around that. Because originally I did the whole, uh, what do you call it? Was it, uh, yeah, the Kaiser armor. Or use, mix it with, like, the Rathalos set. I think I have the Mosswine Helm here. Let me look at layered. Let's see. Downy Cake. Got the Faux Aptonoth, the Faux Kelby. Actually, Artemis. I'm, I'm sorry, I do not like the Artemis outfit. It's just... I don't know why, it just doesn't look good to me. I think I actually have... Yeah, the Kulu Yaku head. And of course, is your Wiggler head if you're a Joe Crap fan. Uh, sealed eye patch, skull mask. I actually used that for a couple of skins with a light bow gun. There's your faux feline, adorable. There it is, this is the moss wine. With a wiggly nose. Very wiggly. Yeah, but I always wore like this, actually. Because like most of the other suits, Orion was actually okay. Like the Blossom was fine. Yeah, Death Stench. That's actually what I used with the Light Bow Gun. Because I only used the Light Bow Gun to do pretty much one mission. And that was to do the, uh, let's see, let's actually see here. Where is it? No, not Siri. Geralt, yeah. So his quest against the Ancient Leshen. Yeah. That's actually what I used it, the light bow gun for. Because, good luck, I couldn't even actually freaking do that mission with the sword sealed because, man, that mission is hard as balls. That mission is hard as balls. So that, that, that was a raid mission. That was a pure raid mission. Orion is just hunting Santa. It is hunting Santa. And I love it. I love it. It's amazing. But, why not? First things first here. Also, let me know if the volume... Is the volume too high? It doesn't look like it's too high, but we'll find out in a second. Let's order some meals. That's a little high. The amount of gluttony in this game has is hilarious. Yeah, I'm just gonna give me one second. I'm gonna actually change the uh, the volume levels here. I'm bring it down just a little bit. Not too much though. But let me think here. Is there anything else I need to actually do here? So where we're at, I'm not talking to my handler. True, you do burn a lot of calories. You do burn a lot of calories. It's weird, I like the way the serious handler actually looks as the model, but for some odd reason, whenever she's talking to you in a portrait, I think she actually looks ugly. And I don't know why. Like, in the cutscene, she looks great. In the model, she looks good. The serious handler, for some odd reason, just doesn't look that great. So here's a question. Who should we hunt first? The Nightshade Palumu or the Coral Puke Puke? Which ones do you guys want to hunt first? Who, do you th who should I actually try and take on here? You vote Coral. Alright, Coral Puke Puke it is. You got it, Prinny. Alright. Do I have any info about these guys? I probably don't. Jake Gragra, uh, Jake the Great Jagras, Puke Puke, Barra, Jerry Totus, Toby, 
against the Rathian, Litsi, Alumu. Any info about the, the the alternate forms? Probably not. Yeah, I. The heck is that it's supposed to be? Jeva. I've fought the Toby a couple of times. The Viper version of it. Alumu subspecies capable of putting prey to sleep. It produces powerful sedative gas stored within its throat sac that can expel and scatter to knock unwary foes out. Interesting. Probably should actually change weapons here, actually. And let me also re-equip myself here. I'm a very... So, here's my other kind of big thing. I don't like killing the monsters. I like capturing them. I am that type of person. I am that type of person to actually just focus purely on capturing the monsters. Let's just go with a general trap build. And let's change our equipment, because I don't think water is going to be its weakness. So let's play a little bit safe here. I recently actually just built this. Now we'll just... You know what? We're going on in the Coral Highlands here. Puke Puke for the Camellia's hype. Oh, wait. We're not fighting that. We're fighting the Puke Puke. Shoot. Uh, You know what? I have no idea what it does, actually. Uh, give me a second. I have no idea what it does, so I'm bringing the poison. I'm bringing the poison and the jerky. I might need it. This Puke Puke might make me bleed. It might make me bleed. Commencing the Coral Puke Puke investigation now. The Fifth Fleet's A-list hunter will take point while I keep record. The See, I don't know. Has already gathered tracks. Let's follow the scout flies. See, I think the Sears handler, like, that model there they made for the portrait just makes her look like she has a big nose. I don't know why. Those. Mm, so you cool with us too. So. I'm gonna try and do a bit of a balance. I think at first we're gonna be doing a couple of story missions, but then I'll switch over to do the, um, what do you call it, um, you know, like the optionals and the events and stuff, and that, that will be fine. So, at the bottom of the title there, there should be the room number, and you should be able to join in, uh, on the lobby. If I didn't post, actually, you know what, yeah, I should be able to hopefully post it. Uh, can I post it? Player list. Here it is. Yeah, so hopefully the uh, hopefully the thing is actually right at the bottom there for the event title there. So yeah, feel free to join if you'd like. Um, like I said, I'll probably be doing a bit of a story first for the first half, and then on the second half, uh, then I'll probably open up to do like investigations and other and the optional quests and such. Hopefully, I'll get like the master rank three stuff unlocked, and then we'll be doing optional stuff there. I feel like that'll be the best. Uh, the best approach for this whole thing. Okay, also, can I ask for some help? I've never used the uh, Clutch Claw. I completely forgot how to use the Clutch Claw. Oh, no, 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 no. Hide, hide, hide. Not interested in fighting you, buddy. But yeah, it, it's totally cool if you want to actually join on in. Okay. The stuff. Need investigations to be able to fight this guy anyway. Especially since the Puke Puke was around here somewhere. Well, that's it. What the heck am I? Scooping up. Nope, oh, that's just more gashes. It... It's drinking out of that thing? It's using- oh, so it's wa- it is literally water. Okay. He is a thirsty boy. 
Oh, you are. Do you suppose what's riling them up is connected to the issue with the Legiana? Well, might as well get started. I'm assuming he's gonna fight the same way as he always does. The heck are you going, buddy? Please don't turf. This will be the worst time for you to turf. Varians usually have a few new tricks. Gotcha. Oh no! Not the blind. Well, that just wasted an entire mounting. Not want to be behind him. I miss all the critical hits I used to get. I miss all the critical hits I used to be able to get. Oh god! Also, yes, this Artemis armor is really powerful. Come on, let's get rid of this tail so you don't become a threat. Oh, even better. I love this, whatever this thing is. It's like a trampoline. Hoping this thing runs away soon. They kind of actually used to refill my stuff. I am not used to having to resharpen my weapon. Oh god. Okay, you hurt like crazy. Oh my goodness for the shield. Well, using being able to actually use its tail as a weapon instead of poisoning with water pressure is actually pretty powerful. There you go. Take down your tail now. Or we could be up by your head. Fine. I hope I actually can cut off its tail. I'm a little surprised if I couldn't. Come on, really? What do I gotta do to actually break this tail? I'm also really lucky, apparently. Alright. Well, at least I got something. Can I actually use my ma I can use the Raider Rider. Eh. Been a while. Let's not. Let's do things the old-fashioned way. It's been a while since I've gone walking and, ran and prancing around this area. I need to refresh my memory about this area. It's been ages since I've been in this area. Where the heck did this thing go, anyway? You. Point. No, that's, that's, that's our little... That's our little mouse bat. I don't, I don't care what people say. I think he's adorable. I think the Paolumu is adorable. Now, how do we get over there? Oh, 
Oh, did I miss? Oh, I missed some material. Things are so bright in this game. There it is. Okay, just another shard. All right. I wonder if his armor is any good. Like, I doubt I'm going to find anything better than the Artemis armor. Ooh. Okay, this shield stooge is hilarious. Uh-oh. And things just got complicated. <laughs> They're best friends. Well, if you don't mind me, I'm just gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab that. No, 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 don't put yourself to sleep. That was a waste. Okay, so the water pressure can also come out the front. Noted. But does anyone, let me ask this question. I've always been curious, because I've never been able to get like an exact answer from this. What's the difference between KOing and exhausting the monster? I've never understood that. Like, I know obviously the bashing is really important, which is why I like the sword and shield. Okay, your tail is really on there. Tail is really on there, buddy. I need you to kind of get rid of it. Where are you running? Stop running. Okay. Oh god. Oh. Okay, you do that now. Wing. It's here, but it's tail. I'm not here. I am not here, apparently. Alright, I'm here. I'm back. Don't worry, buddy. I didn't go anywhere. Ah, I should probably actually use the Mega Potion. Let me ask this question also. Do you guys think this game is actually easy? Overall, like in general, I know there's like some really difficult fights. Ancient, Leshen, Behemoth, those are actually extremely difficult. I consider them like the most difficult parts of the game. Coral Feathers, what? There's Coral Feathers. Oh, there you go. Exhausting the monster makes it slow and just makes and it'll just look at you weird due to hunger while KOing the monster leaves it on the ground stunned. So shield bashing then. That effectively makes a monster hung exhausted, therefore hungry, and will really uh, lead to other KOs. Is that right? Is that about right? Is that a Palumu? What's the Palumu? Sorry, buddy. We'll, f we'll fight your counterpart next in a moment. Uh, there we go. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Are you almost dead? Probably not. You guys got a lot of health.
Oh, there we go. All right, we won. And now we just follow him. Also, this, this, this upgrade for the shield is hilarious. <laughs> Wacky, <laughs> waveable, inflatable pal... Uh, what is it? Palico, that's it. Alright. Where the heck is he going? A carcass... This way? Really? What? Am I is really down there? Yeah, it's really down there. Didn't even know you could jump down there. Come on, buddy, go to sleep. You're a sleepy boy. There you go. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Turn to Astera and prepare for the next investigation. You know they're KO'd at the stars. Okay, so basically it's always actually good to build up KO damage. Like, I know the sword and shields, like, because it's the jack of all trades, it's not great at everything. And so it really doesn't belong... Well, it belongs, I would say, more on the tail rather than the head, but the, obviously if I'm playing solo, hey. They with whipping gem, huh? Ah, freaking gems. Never do anything for me. Hey, new hunter rank. Hey, master rank five. Nice. Ooh. And we're done leveling up the shield spire. You can hit him with the tranks before the trap activates and it'll still work. See, I've never had luck with that. I've never One had luck with that. Left to investigate. Just leave records and analysis to me. All right, let's see. I'll just go with the wrath trap again. Uh, I want to actually see here for a second. I want to see. Also, I should probably Splendid. check with you. Aha! Oh, of course, we just hunt a bird. That's fine. We've hunted the bird, and now we get a bird quest, of course. I've never had luck with that, also. Just because I'm... I always forget. I always forget. I've done this before. Aha! Yeah, would've gotten in trouble. Would've gotten in trouble. See, the ways I like actually using the sword and shield with the brigand outfit, it just reminds me of, like, the Final Fantasy Red Mage. I'm your Red Mage. I could do it all. No problem. Also, I'm curious, actually. So what does this armor look like? What does Coral Puke Puke? I'll be honest, like I said, this, this movie armor, they basically just gave you ultimate power. This thing does too, is too good. It gives you earplugs, it gives you recovery up, it gives you a health boost. Things I normally never used. Stun resistance, peak performance. Well, peak performance is just average. Uh, blight resistance, and poison resistance. And, well, I'm using the necklace here that gives me the free elemental up so I can get the blast damage. Like, what's your favorite element here? Like, I normally actually use the normal elements. There we go. Oh, what does this look like? Fancy. That is, that is fancy stuff there. What do you got here? So this gives water attack. It gives critical. Oh, critical draw. Okay. That's, you know, actually, I use critical draw. Actually, uh, I normally would use critical draw a lot because I always end up just pressing the run button and that she's my sword and shield. Item per longer, power per longer, part, no, eh, part breaker. That's not bad. No set bonuses, though. That's a bit surprising. You would use a lot of poison weapons. 
See, I've... Let me actually, this is probably a better way to actually go around things. Since we actually just got the info. There we go. Oh, of course we didn't get enough info. I guess I didn't actually take enough uh, footprints. Let's actually go with the uh, Noah boy here. Actually, yo, perfect. This will be fine. So the Viper Toby Kadachi here. I'm actually glad I'm fighting a new version of this because I never fought the original. Like, I fought it the minimum amount of times. It was only until, like, oh, I'm at end game. All right, I need to actually hunt this monster. <laughs> Just to actually make all the elemental weapons. Um, I normally err on the side of the elements rather than the ailments, just simply because... Solo doesn't feel like you get to do a lot with it, with the ailments. I feel like in a team, the ailments are better. Like having a character bring in paralysis, having a character bring in sleep or poison. I feel like that does a lot more than, you know... Single player, elements, max DPS. That's that's always been kind of like my mindset, is you're getting a lot more damage output compared to, from what I remember what Otto explained, the diminishing returns of the ailments. Because if you put a monster to sleep multiple times, if you kind of notice, none of my item setups, the very few I use, uh, yeah, they, they never include the bombs. I never use the bombs. Well, I guess except for Dragon Slave, but that's because you're fighting a goddamn dragon. You might as well actually blow him up. Alright. Let's go get some more food here. I think we'll keep using the explosive, because it's Blast is, like... Blast is apparently, I guess, the safest of the ailments. I really wish they kept all the other cooking animations, like they did some sort of roulette. <laughs> I always love it. Well done. Nice work. I can see your handler wasn't exaggerating when she said there wasn't. No, uh, there was nothing to worry about with you around. If anything, I'm nervous about my own ability to keep up. Hey. Let's continue this investigation, uh, these subspecies. Time to finish what we started, partner. Oh, good. She's no longer calling me temporary partner. All right, let's fight. Let's fight this nightshade Palumu. Also, in the wild spire wasteland, really? Okay. They get more resistance the more it gets the ailments. The weapons I used also had really high damage, so it even that for you. Really? Like... Okay, wait, hang on. So now I'm gonna be able to actually just do this here. This will be easier. I never found... Obviously, I'm comparing, like, a bit of a mix here. Um... I always found that the... Like, the ailment ones had low damage. Compared to a lot of the other ones, like the Bond Claw, 266. That was as high as that went in uh, at end game in vanilla. That wasn't a lot, honestly, compared to like, like even the Defender War. Like obviously, the Defender War Hatchet. Let's actually rule that out as an exception here. Same thing with Broth Club, for example, or Master Bang. I always found like the actual elements themselves. Those weapons did more. No, oh, I upgraded the Royal Rose. So it was always kind of a weird thing that I found like the elements had a higher, at the very least, a higher base damage rather than what you can get. I need to do something about the... Like, the, okay, like this actually makes sense now. The Chrome Knight Sword. Charge Blade was nice to ailments. It was? I didn't have a Charge Blade. I probably, I made a couple. I was, like, originally, bef like, right before I stopped. Yeah, let's see, 120, oh, okay, Dia okay, Diablo Tyrannus is not the best <laughs> example, let's be honest. <laughs> that has negative 30% affinity, although then again, you wouldn't be going for a crit build with that. Uh, so, like, Dante, yeah, honestly, one of the few I've actually used just because I wanted to actually see what it was like, uh, was Dante's Devil Sword. Yeah, Mighty Strong Arm, the Halberian Blade, Mudslide. Yeah, I barely, I barely invested in this. You always use the Pink Rathian Charge Blade. I definitely don't have that, unfortunately. 
Yeah, like I said, I kind of stopped halfway once I learned, like, oh, this this person I know uses the charge blade. Well, if I play with him, I'd rather not be using the same weapons as him. And so, nobody ever said they use the sword and shield. It's like, what is it? Juker used the, if I remember correctly, Juker used the long sword. Otto used... When I, the few times I got to play with him, he was using the heavy bow gun, and that was because he was... He wanted to actually try it, and he l learned very quickly that it's better to play with mouse and keyboard for the bow guns. I think you can get away with it with the control pad with the light bow gun, but I feel like the heavy bow gun, you probably want to use the, um... You want to use the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, mouse and keyboard, and I com would completely agree. I just feel it's weird. Like, third-person games, I always feel like I have to use the gamepad. The Fifth Fleet's A-list hunter will take point while I keep record. The field team has already gathered tracks. Let's follow the scout flies. Going. Is this Palu? This is Palu. Alright, I gotta knock out a few of these guys here just because. No, 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 no! no. Okay, that's, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. As long as I get two. I'm kind of lacking on ancient potions, and I don't think they've actually ever given you a way to get more ancient potions. Might just be me. Might just be me. Damn it. Yeah, you always need more herbs. I wonder if there's any other variants for the, um, what do you call it, um, I wonder if there's any more variants for the, uh, not the Rathians, but, uh, uh, what's that monster? I guess the Rathian and Rathalos would be, well, they already had vari uh, variations. Ooh. Gassed. They're dropping like monsters. Oh, that's just creepy. Oh, that's creepy. I'm going to need a wake up call. with us? That's a relief. Let's continue the hunt. Old fur? Besides crafting, not really unless login. I'm surprised it didn't kill me. No, 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 you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. You look different. I don't think I've actually ever killed one of you before. I don't think I have killed any of those things before. Hi, how are you? Here's <laughs> go to sleep. I know I hear you've been having tr uh, problems actually falling asleep. All right, let's start speeding up here. Dunk. What the heck is this thing? Oh, a Baroth. What? A I don't even follow Barat. What are you doing to me, game? Is there aren't things on the whole other side of the map? It has a very pretty design, though. What the oh, the, the Diablos. That's a Diablo. Oh God, we're going to fight the Diablos. Oh God, there is a Diablos on this map. Thank 
Grab the Thunderbug. Hi! So I never figured out how to use the Clutch Claw. I'll be honest, I'm an old fan on that aspect. I wonder how rough his tail is compared to the, uh, the original. Um, and here comes the fight. Yeah. Oh, come on, right in the mud. That was, that was unfortunate. Oh god, that thing's gonna fall asleep. What the heck? Alright, its weak spot is in its tail. Oh no! Um, well, I'm going to sleep. I'll see you guys in a moment gonna walk over here. Mounting in this game feels weird. How so? Like, I'm assuming you're talking about Monster on a Rise, right? I'm assuming you're talking about Monster on a Rise. Where the heck did he go? Don't you, don't run! Might need to get some help on this one. Well, NPC help. At least we got some palicos over here. Probably should also use the uh these mantles. Why, how good is Wyvern riding? Let's see, what kinda help is this? Oh, I don't know if I can mount the darn thing. I wasted I wasted my mount opportunity. Oh no. Okay, I probably sh Is there ever did they ever make an item that lets you like resist sleep? I'm trying to think here about that. Oh no. I'd like to ride you again, please. Thank you. Ah, oh, damn it, not again. Wait, did that break? Oh, good, it broke sleep. Thank you. Can I actually just do this? What the? No, that's... Well, that was the wrong button, but... That apparently actually would work. Alright, can I... Claw shot on you? Why? Okay, he's why. That's not how we do that. That was... That's actually focused. Let's try this again. Let's see if we can do that again. Does this count as writing? Probably not. That does not count as writing. Or we could just blow him up. Or we could actually build up that KO damage. I swear, these mantles are pretty overpowered. Oh, 
There we go. Fine. I hope this counts as a ride. It does. Cool. <laughs> I am not getting any value out of this. There, there's the value. We got, we got good value from this. The drool coming up. That explains it. I've been doing a little bit more of the. Um, Shield bashing lately. Oh. I don't know what happened there, but okay. Over here, I love shield bashing. Makes me feel good. Oh god, it's. Oh, I can attack the thing. I didn't even realize that. that I normally don't like using the mantles honestly I feel like they're kind of cheating in a way like I feel like the other ones are usually better but let's be honest if you're gonna use them might as well use the um... I'm surprised he doesn't actually sit on them. There go. that was a good oh no no, 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 no. Please don't... Please don't attack me. Uh, no, that's not the way. What the heck are these palicos? Oh, there's no... Oh, they're over here. Okay. Who dares summons me by playing monster? Apparently I do. How you doing, Sims Mage? You're going to need the mantles. Oh no, like I would damnfully say the mantles for like the Leshen, the ancient Leshen, and um, like the behemoth. Completely understand why you'd want the mantles. They really actually kind of designed it to kind of want to use them. How you doing, Sims Mage? How was your weekend? Hopefully you had a good weekend. All right, you can do this while I sharpen that. Oh, I didn't change out the my Palico's weapon. Shoot. All right, let's go after him. See, I'll admit, like when I was playing this game with um, with Juker and Otto, I was constantly they they like they had the Iceborne content and I didn't, so like I never understood. Oh. They were literally have access to an auto taxi service. And so I was having to actually run around every not the There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Get the get the old footprints, please. Well, I never understood they basically had their own little taxi service until now. Buttons. Turf? Turf? You turfing? I wouldn't mind seeing turfing. No, no. He's a gas cloud and walks away. Oh no. Oh, he's puffing up finally. And. Pulse. Okay. That's a new one. That's a new one. Long as he doesn't sit on me. He's gonna sit on me. No, he's gonna put me to sleep.
Okay, you can do quite a bit. Oh no! Everything's just got to heck here. Please let me just attack you once. Just once. Come on. There. I'm, I'm happy. I'll, I'll take... Well, at least we got attacked. Him. Okay, attacking this Palumu here. Very impressive, honestly. Although I will miss, I will say, I miss the cactors. I don't know what happens with cactors. The cactors are like gone now. Oh, don't run away again. Alright, fine, run away. <laughs> Wacky waving flavor arm waving tube man. Indeed. I gotta admit, they actually really gave a good shield ability. They gave a really good shield ability uh, for that Palico. Because I'll be honest, I never... Like, by default, I think most players will just use, was it, the Vigor Wasp? But I think, you know, this... Honestly, a lot of them are actually very solid. Also, I probably should actually chunk another potion. Yep. Nope. Yeah, that revive was very nice when I was still hanging on to my, um... When I was still hanging on to the old armor, because I didn't want to let it go. Because, like, oh, I can have 50% crit. Why would I want to get rid of that? Why would I want to get rid of that? But I got over Once I got the Artemis set, I got over it. And like, I finally said, yeah, we're going to have to get used to actually having to repair our weapon here. No, don't expel your gas. He expelled his gas. Gassy bat. Yes. Okay, this is honestly actually a much more interesting fight than the original. I, I like it. Especially since I don't think I can do anything with... Really? Okay. Would you, would you like to come down or you just want to keep... Oh, cool. He can actually disperse the gas. That's actually... That's unique. I like it. Oh, no. Well, so much for that. Well, time for a nap. And stop. Oh no, not again. Come on. Pop my own bubbles here. I remember them existing, like, in the vanilla content, they always existed, no matter what. Like, it's weird, like, I just noticed that they are just gone when you upgrade to Iceborn. Where'd 
you please come down here? I wish to fight you. I wish to engage in, in a round of fisticuffs. Because I think the event is over. It wasn't even the event. I mean, like, I'm just talking normal hunts. Just, they were there. At least when I played. And this was way after, like, the whole Final Fantasy sort of deal. Am I actually running out of stamina? I am running out of stamina. People used to take monster down so single-handedly. But did they really? Did the Cacro really do that much damage? Please stop. Please stop, Palumu. He just not. I'm not even looking at my own stamina here. I heard a lot of people don't really like people who mount the monsters. Is that also true? Was that also considered like a bad thing? A lot of HP. Hang on a second. You have to be capturable. Okay, you are definitely capturable. Never mind. You finally got over yourself, buddy. All right, go off. I'll be over here doing some mining or something, or finding something. Latch berries. Would he sleep at? I believe uh, people using Cacros to kill monsters. Dina got killed by one once. Okay, I definitely have died by a Cactor. But let's be honest a hunter's health versus a. Um, what do you call it? A hunter's health versus the amount of health a, uh, a monster has. Kind of, kind of big, kind of different. Why does this not count as. Oh, okay, you're already asleep. He's sleeping. Look how adorable he looks. I like mice. One, two, three. Oh no, the freaking data compiled and mission complete. No, I'm beginning no, to believe I want there to mine. is some connection to these subspecies in the Legiana. Zilga, help me up, buddy. Never mind, he just wants me to sleep. <laughs> God damn. I forgot what their names were. Uh, Gajawas? Gajalas? One of those things. What do you get here? Uh, Paluma Thick Fur, Cortex, Thick Fur Shard, Troper Sack. I need one of those. Bellwing, Ancient Face Stone, Might Seed, and the normal stuff. Okay. So he definitely has some unique items. And Stone Thrower. If a group catch some cactors and release it around them, it would probably kill it. Wow. New arena quests have been added. New cutscene. New optional quests. How lovely. How many chapters does the master rank Good have? Good work out there. 
Now it's our turn to analyze what you've found. Splendid job. Anyway, looks like this chapter of our investigation over. We have to thank you for that. But that doesn't mean you get to sit around with your feet up. We received word from Celiana that they've had a series of Berioth sightings in the Horfrost Reach. <laughs> <laughs> that got your attention. Anyway, rest up, then head over once you're ready. I'm just glad to be of help. Shall we return to Celiana? Also, okay, I have to ask this question here. Poogie, couple of questions. One, how do we actually, like, remove its clothing? It's like, I, like, this kind of tells you how little I've played this game compared to all of the seasons and stuff. Does Poogie even have, like, a, just a pig outfit? Because it feels like you can't actually take off its clothing once you put it on. Like, really, you can't actually take it off. Just kind of odd. And second, um, I don't m pet your poogie in tune with the music. I don't have any rhythm. I never underst- I could never understand that. Let me think. Let's see. We believe that sudden appearance is undoubtedly connected to whatever disturbed Legiana, some sort of rapid change. Alright. Bounties. Really? Fish? Alright, fine. Fish it is. The Og Shaka Laka and my friend Cha Cha from Try. Huh. Alright, let's get our hot drinks. Probably don't need that, but that. I need to go to Celiana here. Yet, now we still... How many optionals do we have here? Oh, we got the arenas. Okay. Let me see if we can get, like, Master Rank, I guess, 3 unlocked. And then I'll... If you guys want to join on in, we'll do that. My entire botanical thing is literally dedicated to just getting the, um... Literally just dedicated towards, um, what do you call it? Press A above it immediately once the exclamation shows up. Oh, okay, so that's how you pet Poogie. Welcome back. And hey, nice work back east. Your handler's been using, uh, been using Bliss Bills to send me updates. Sounds like they came across a Berioth uh, prowling about while investigating that shipwreck. Mm. Here, I'll read you her report. But, uh, look at how nice her handwriting is. Anyway. <clears throat> Investigated sh a wrecked vessel and en en uh, environs for with first fleet handler. Survey interrupted by Berioth. Reporting as per protocol. We'll shelter until safe, then continue work. Our return will be delayed, but everything is under control. I'm sure they're fine, right? Yeah, of course they are. Uh, to be on the safe side... Yeah, I'm gonna ask you to take care of that Berioth. Camp will only provide so much cover, after all. And beyond the cold has its limits. Make sure to come, uh, come on back before anything bad happens. I like the fact what they did with the story the element of making the. states that the hinterlands is due for a blizzard soon. If we're going to find them, we'd best hurry. Fine. Just interrupt me, serious handler. I like what they did with the serious handler, like making the command, making him the leader here. Hey. Can't imagine anything bad happening with the tracker there. She's as tough as they come. Well, you should probably go make quick work of that snow kitty. No kitty? Wait, what's the berry off again? Graham Meowster? That's her name? <laughs> My goodness, the base is growing, and with more people, we're gonna need more ingredients for Mew dishes. You can help uh, me out with this quest. I might together. I might put uh, put together uh, called Nighty Night Nightshade, and you can keep tails warm and tummies full. Oh. Don't you go off on an empty stomach, meow, or you're gonna have to handle this here ladle upside your head, helmet or not. Capture. Uh, well, okay. He just wants a Palumu. There we go. 
so let's actually do a few things here. Want it? Armor. That's what I wanted. It just feels right, honestly. All right. Let's see. We've got yeah, vigor raw spray. That's leveled up. The fire, uh, the flash fly cage is leveled up. Just finished leveling that up. I had the plunder blade leveled up. I've actually, I think I used the plunder blade the most just because it actually just got me more items from the monster. And then we have the Mialotov cocktail. But now let's use the Coral Orchestra. Oh, also, I never actually got to take a look at what the uh, what the armor looked like. Also, speaking Hawaii. of which, uh, do you? No, you're out to sea. How's your gear holding up? All right, let's take a look at what this pal, uh, the night palumu, lumu phantasm. Oh, it literally just looks like the Lumu setup. <laughs> Anyone kind of gets a Legend of Zelda vibe? Or is it just me? Is it? Is there? Okay, it's just, the, it's just the tint. Let's see, this has wide range. It has sleep attack. Maximum might. Sleep resistance. Oh, okay, so it does have sleep resistance. And then it also has weakness exploit. Huh. These are very interesting armor sets. Like, they're decent, but... I don't know. I'm not, I'm not feeling them. Alright. Oh, right. Let's, we should probably eat. But let's go fight whatever this is. Baryoth is. Also, apparently, also watch a massage and leave. Her meal actually looks a lot more appetizing. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of bread and cheese and sausages. What can I say? Which food looks better? Final Fantasy XV's food or <laughs> Monster Hunters? Which one looked better? Uh, you know, we'll just keep our other stuff here. No, no, no. I don't need to talk to you, Grammy. Bad news, weather reports. Master, massive blizzard. That's going to make getting those two out safety, uh, safely a real challenge, especially when considering the info that Baryoth records state. Blind wyvern native to the tundra. It combines a qua uh, quadruped's fierce agility with a wyvern's flight ability. I drafted a new quest, Blizzard Let's go. Blitz. And head into the reach as soon as you accept it. Alright, let's do this then. Find Blizzard Blitz. You look interesting. That little icon there was very interesting. Oh, yeah, I'll wait for it to load. What? I didn't even earn a single level. All right. Hopefully this will actually be the last of the... Uh, so, like, I'll be able to access Master Rank 3. Commencing the rescue operation. Your first objective is to eliminate the Baryoth threat. I'll have the scout flies follow their footprints. So is the Horfrost Reach literally the only area, or is this area just like a lot bigger than the other areas? I mean, it's slowly been expanding, kind of just like all the other, all the other areas before it. I think I'll, you think I'll like Baryoth, huh? Let's see if it brings me a challenge. 
Probably should have equipped a fire weapon, honestly. Um, oh, I should probably actually... Do the fireflies... Do they even... Okay, no, the fireflies are actually... Will tell me where to go. Hopefully the fireflies are telling me where to go. Good old Banbaro. It's been borrow time. Uh, no, that's still Banbaro's footprints. Uh, what the? Wait. Where'd the scout flies go? Oh. Oh, come on. Really? Come on, guys. No. No. Just, just no. Stop. Forgot about the the popo. What's the popo? Oh, the popo. Okay, I. You mean the little, little gremlin guys? Ooh, mystery. Oh yeah, those guys. Yeah, I had to go kill some of these guys before. Hey, a snowman. Uh, no, that's not a snowman. Oh, that is not a snowman. Don't blink. Please don't blink. Oh. Oh. Never mind. I, re I really wish you would blink. I really wish you'd blink. Okay. You look a lot scarier than I thought you would. Same. Oh God, you're a big guy. Engaged. Secure the area to allow for safe extraction. You are big. What the? Okay, you're. Oh God. Like, please actually just get a hit on you. Oh, I got a hit off you. Monster Hut tries version of a Tigrex? Okay, this is not going as planned. And, uh, you know what? Actually, forget this. We're using the mantles. You are clearly. Oh, you have a big tail. Alright. Alright. Lesson learned. Probably should be using my shield more. Please let me mount. I couldn't even mount him. Alright, fine. We're actually, let's we'll finally actually have to guard at least. Unless we run away from the whirlwind of doom. I 
I am running out of the room. How I missed that. Don't even want to know how I missed that. Okay. All right. God, you're fast. I love it. But I also hate it because it's actually killing me. Okay, how many tornadoes do you I'm just gonna you're just gonna sit on me, aren't you? You are gonna sit on me. Thank you. Finally we can actually do something here. Maybe I should have actually used kept the shield. Or the bigger osprey. One of the two. Its head is a weak point. Okay, triple. I actually, he actually stunned me. I am actually dead. No, no, maybe not. I'm not dead yet. can leave. I'm perfectly fine with that. Oh, well, that was fun. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Alright. Oh, no. I mean, that's actually... Oh, that's a stun resistance. Never mind. They'll start to feel slow once you hurt them enough. Well... <laughs> I wasn't hurting him enough. That is for certain. Footprints. Really there? Oh, you have a huge aggro range. Yeah, that was not gonna end well. No, no. I don't know how I'm not getting hit, but I'll perfectly fine with it. Close to getting knocked out. No, I don't. No, no, no. Please don't. for my life. Okay, you are really fast. Oh, he follows up with that immediately, doesn't he?
gonna take a drink. This is getting a little crazy. Also that also doesn't help. I swear, thank goodness this game actually gives you a partner. If, if you didn't actually get a partner in this game, I would... This game would be a lot more difficult. Ooh, I've never seen, yeah, I didn't get to go down here before. What is R and N? Oh, this is the first time I've been able to go down here. Flash bug. That you're gonna let me mine. No, oh, no, you are gonna let me mine. Thank you. Never mind, you're not gonna let me mine. I'm gonna assume this guy's storm against blast too. Actually, you know what, honestly, this actually might work. I love, I've always loved the slight attack. But why are you running? You get you, oh yeah, no, like, honestly, I kind of have a lot of the monsters kind of on autopilot now. Like, I think the only ones I really won't get is Ancient Leshen, and, um, well, actually, Ancient Leshen, and Ancient Leshen and, uh, Behemoth. They're, like, pretty much the top two. They're pretty much the top two. On my list here. Is this a camp? Well, this is a camp. More bones. I'm guessing this is the... They're a build of multiplayer in mind. Yeah, no, this game is definitely a multiplayer game. Through and through. Hey there, how you doing, buddy? Oh, that is a lot of penguins. That's a lot of penguins. All right, let's get going. Also, I should probably actually eat some rations. That has cost me a lot. Oh, this will be, oh, I just wrote it too, shoot. Ooh, I don't have the Anjanath done. That's right, I never actually fought the Anjanath yet. Now, Just stick and move, stick and. I'm surprised its tail isn't in it. It doesn't have it. No, no, it, it does have. Really? It use the guy. Oh no, I just want to that. I I deserve all the pain. Stamina. That's actually a rarity. So let's get over here, buddy. Come here. I want to fight you over here.
Come here. Thank you. Shoulder slam. Man, he's getting exhausted. There we go. Before I set up so the monsters scale up if a hunter joins the hunt. Wait, I thought they did that in this game. I thought they did that in this game. So I don't think I'm gonna get um, what I want. Oh wait, no, maybe I will. Yes, I will. I do not. Oh no. But you're willing to come back another time, Engine App. Also, I'm surprised I can't break his teeth. Can I break his teeth? I feel like I should be able to. Oh, I got very lucky there. So I like this trap wizard right here. Face. Did I break your face? I think I broke his face. Nope. Hit cut. Blind. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry for breaking your teeth there, buddy. He is an angry boy. The only thing left is actually take out its tail. I don't think I can actually do that. Well, they... If I remember correctly, Tank Magician said they released uh, a new demo? Are they going to release a new demo? Also, I really probably should sharpen my weapon. Uh, you wanna leave, buddy, so I can sharpen my weapon? No, maybe not. Communication error, what? It's the worst time to have a communication error.
Oh no. Not a viper. Oh, don't tell me you two are gonna turn. You two are gonna turn. Never mind, you're not gonna turn. Please turn. I'm okay if the two of you turn. Never mind, you're not gonna turn. We'll accept that. Also, my hot drink is worn off. Everyone just gets along in this place, don't they? run away. So wait, are you telling me like this game actually has a static difficulty compared to what Rise will have? I don't mind using the second one. Oh, that was actually a lot better. That was a lot better of around that time. Also, how important is actually the ore in this mode? Or like the master rank? Oh. Also, that is a lot of buffs. A long time since I had that many buffs. Also, I'm running out of uh, potions here. Really? Right off the bat? You want to do that? Fine. I don't care about the tail anymore. <laughs> I can't care about the tail. It is. Is it? Li it's literally just slipping on the ice now. I disconnected, didn't I? Because I disconnected. Use your main weapon, sword and shield. It's always solid, at least for the soloist. It, honestly, it looks like at least the move set for the uh, sword and shield is at least consistent. This is what I actually am perfectly fine with having. Like a lot of people, like look at me and go, like, why are you using such a boring weapon? And I'll agree, sword and shield is in effect of essentially boring. But at the same time, though, it's just honestly satisfying having something that's consistent. I don't, I just let myself walk into that. Very hungry. I, oh, I'm gonna get myself knocked out. That isn't good. Oh, good, you're, you're a tired boy. 
That's fine. Your favorites? Hunting Horn, Insect Glaive, and yeah, Sword and Shield. I just like Sword and Shield because it's versatile. That's, that's honestly the main reason. It's just a solid, versatile weapon that... For a guy who has to actually do a lot of the content solo, it's perfect. Like, I res like, how people actually get used to the Charge Blade is honestly impressive to me. Actually, like, actually anyone who actually knows how to use all the other weapons, because I'll agree, Sword and Shield, basic weapon. But I like it because it does everything. It does bash damage, and it does slash damage. The only damage, obviously, it doesn't do is ranged. Are you asleep? Get up. Just walk over. Oh, good, you're napping. You're napping, good boy. Good boy. You're a good fight, though. I love it. I love that he's a good fight. Can you actually do a Let's shield bash with charge blade? Mission. Oh. Ah. Oh. I didn't know you could actually jump over from here to here. Cool. Well, hopefully we found the tracker and our old handler. I'm curious what the story is, though, with the, uh, with our handler. Look, I knew it! Hey, partner! <laughs> Thanks for being here. You're a lifesaver. During our search, we noticed a Baryoth was nearby, so we hid. Thanks to you, we were able to have a really good look around. <laughs> For one thing, the ship was covered in gashes from an attack. The Baryoth isn't capable of something like that. It came from something far, far more dangerous living here. Then, we found this. It looks Another new. stone? Whatever made this must be close. How about you? Find out anything? Frozen monsters. Huh. Baryoths aren't known for that sort of thing. So then... Uh... <sighs> Singing? I don't like where this is going. Everyone thought it was just a mere miss. But there it is. Velcana. What the heck's a Velcana? What now? Believe in yourself, little moon. You are closing in on the truth. But you're going to need his help. That elder dragon is going to be a problem. That's a dra- oh, okay, it was a dragon. We'll meet soon. Whatever happens, please, please be careful. <laughs> Let's go, partner. How's it going, cool guy? How has how your weekend been? All right. Hopefully, this is actually everything. Also, what the heck did you drop anyway? You dropped thick fur, hard claw, cortex, bio sack, hard claw. I have twelve of those. 
I don't even remember fight. I don't remember any fighting any ice monsters, but okay. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, sleep resistance. Master rank seven, what? Well, optional quest, the elusive elder dragon, new armor upgrade. Wow, that was just a whole list of things. I'm gonna guess we actually can do more missions now. Been okay, well, that's good to hear. When the enigmatic, enigmatic elder dragon Vulcana displayed its overpowering might and then took its wing, the hunter raced after it straight towards Astera. Thanks for assembling on such short notice. There's been a bit of alarming news from the hinterlands. I'll let the fifth take it from here. Thank you, sir. You see, recently we've been discovering monsters in the Hoarfrost Reach that have been completely frozen. And we finally identified the culprit. An elder dragon by the looks of it. This elder dragon was last seen flying across the sea, roughly in the direction of where we are now. It's likely already here in the New World. So, there you have it. I think it would be best if we started looking into precautionary measures. I see. Thanks to our trusty tracker's meticulous observations, we think we've correctly identified the monster from among our records. It is an elder dragon known as Velcana, the Iceborne Wyvern. Very few sightings have ever been officially recorded. But they have all been by mountaineers or explorers that ventured deep into the bleakest, coldest extremes in the world. Records say it could freeze other creatures with the merest breath or flap of its wings. We'd always assumed these reports were exaggerated. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why the mouth movements look if off. If an elder dragon this powerful has awoken, then it's all but proof of some drastic change in the environment. It's probably because the, it's the Japanese, uh, care, that's the, probably them using the Japanese I agree, dubs. Commander. If I'm not mistaken, we can consider the Legiana crossing to be the clearest sign of that change. You're suggesting that the Legiana have led us to the cause of all this, then? Yes, that's plausible. But first, we need to find this thing. I want the field team to split up and search each region for any unusual signs. I, I don't think it's so bad. I think it's just because, like, I just had the egotistical mindset. It's like, oh, they should be dubbing in English. No, they're probably just, if you probably put this to the Japanese language, it's probably perfect lip syncing. Yes, sir. We'll divide our resources and conduct a thorough investigation. I trust you'll take care of threats from any unknown monsters you might find out there. And finally, provisions. We need to prepare for the worst. See to it that you secure as many emergency supplies as possible. That is all. Dismissed. Okay, so first off, apparently we just had... In the new world, that's big news, but not the good kind. We're in charge of finding any changes in the ancient forest. Let's go on an expedition and have a look around. Over here. This is for you, it's a new decoration. When we discovered the new locale had an arctic climate, I had the third fleet put something together. So what they came up with, make good use of it. A warming gem. Interesting. Am I like master rank three? Or am I not? Probably not, aren't I? Nope, oh, that's not it. Oh no, I am master rank three. Okay, so this is a perfect time actually. So I need to apparently create a new online session. Because apparently I got disconnected, so let me actually do this. So I'll update the uh, code here. So, for those of you who want to kind of help out and if strut your stuff, world, that's um, we news. can do some optional Not quests and such. We're in charge uh, of let's go and actually take this. Let's go on an expedition and have a look around. Copy that. And player list. Here we go. Here's our new code. Let's put that in there. Go. It should be updated. So that is the online session code. If you want to actually join on in and play a little bit of Monster Hunter World, I'll probably set up and do some uh, 
some of the optional quests and such for the uh, master ranks. We'll probably do that for maybe an hour, hour and a half. And then we'll probably stop. Because there is definitely a good amount. We'll probably actually work on doing a couple of these here. Finish off this list. Wait, less. Oh, there's a lot. Remember that one time. Remember that one time I got my face smacked into the ground? That was, that was good times. Good times. Alright. So I'll wait a little bit, a little bit for those who want to actually join on in. Freezing living creatures solid with its breath. Beating its wings? Oh, in the new world does it work? And nothing I want. Alright. If someone enjoys their hunt, mid hunt, the difficulty is stuck as if it was two players. Uh, time to cultivate some hot peppers, I suppose. I'm counting on you. Yes, I'll be needing the field team's help in gathering Vulcanus tracks. Do that, and I'll assess out its location. No place it can hide. Go. Yeah. Okay, and but now in Rise, though, it'll actually match whether you have four people or not. Also, hang on a second. Let's see if I can actually pet you properly. Oh, that's literally all you have to do. Man, I've been making Poogie mad for years now. Been making him mad for years. Also, anyone? No, no, that's not it. Uh, what's the? I doubt any of you guys are this person. I'm going to assume it isn't any of you guys. Cause I got this a couple days ago, and I didn't know if this was someone. Looks like it's a switch axe player. Where was it? Jester's player list. It's been like that since Poogie was introduced. When was Poogie introduced? I'll never understand that. You went up against a proper fierce elder dragon. It's good to see you safe. Oh, uh, you need something made? The only thing I would ask if you want to actually join on in, that we capture the monsters. I don't like killing the monsters. Also, I think it's more fun. It's more fun. It's like you're getting a gigantic pet. Uh, oh, it looks like Laguna Blossom? Oh, so that's what happens to the Rogue Wave or the Icicle Spike. Interesting. Been around since the Freedom 2 on PSP. Wow. Let's see, Chrome Knight Sword. That's unlocked. What else is unlocked? The Tura Force, uh, Force Sense 2. Wow, 450 damage. That, wow, that is a big upgrade. Uh, Great Jagras. Saber's Gullet. Looks like that's it for now. What about the armor? What is the armor set for? Oh, that's a lot. I guess we can actually get the Ignit set now. That looks pretty much the same as it originally did. Does it? Yeah, okay, so the Ignit set did not change at all. Barioth, let's take a look at G. What do you look like? Ooh. Interesting. Ooh. Very interesting. So what do you offer? Barioth Hidden Art. Adds a stun effect to draw attacks and slightly increases attack power. That's actually... You know, I consistently seeth my weapon, so that's actually pretty good. Constitution reduces stamina depletion. Okay, recovery. Evade extender. Uh, power prolonger.
that's perfectly fine. Like I said, we're just going to be doing, like, the optional stuff, so... It's more for fun. It's for fun. That's that's the whole point. Also, I you're not the only one who's rusty. I've only just recently been starting to play this again. So... You're not going to be alone in that rust. Any new charms? No. Can I actually up? I can upgrade this, actually. So it goes, it gets an extra slot. Or I could have an ice weapon. Interesting. Actually, there's a lot of different weapons you could actually make from this. That's... Wow. Actually impressive. Uh, there's that. Where's the other one? Uh, not the Defender. Corona? No, it wasn't Corona. Saber's Gullet, that's what it was. This one... No, I can't actually do that one. Saber's Gullet. Blast and Sleep? Huh. Interesting. How about the you? I wonder what monster I need to get to improve you. I nix Tebar. That makes sense. I feel like Legiana was literally like the only thing for ice. Still haven't even found what I'm supposed to hunt. I'm assuming I'm supposed to hunt a Legiana. But you can't exactly cut off their tail though. I'll play it safe and just use that. Let's see. Said you joined. Player list. Nope, not yet. I should probably actually take a look and see what optional quests there are. Thank you. Thanks for coming to get me, Pard. <laughs> Let's see here. We have a knight, a pink. Oh, pink Rathian's available, huh? Interesting. Coral Puke Puke and Nightshade Palomu. What do we have for three? Ah, oh, finally, I can actually uh, hunt a Rathalos. Now there's Baryoth? Yeah. Oh, look, cool. We can actually also hunt the uh, Ogdragon and Legiana now. Master rank pink Rathian. The special arena, very off. Sense, what about events? Oh yeah, we did, I finally had a lot more events open up. What the heck is that thing? 50 shades of white? No, you're, you're different. That's a different little guy there. I don't know. I'll hunt that pink Rathian. Try to take a look and see what his weakness is. Let's see. Oh, what's the description here? A snow white flying wyvern with huge tusks found in the frozen tundra. It uses its four legs and tail to traverse ice with ease. It is the thunder draw wyvern. This anginath subspecies electrifies its jaws and dorsal membrane with every blow. Huh. And then Velcana. Oh, that's the thing from the NCH Productions YouTube video. Oh, so that's what that's supposed to be. Neat. What does it say about the coral Puke Puke? A bird woman that starts to pile water inside its body, fortified by the plant life it consumes, when threatened to expel a powerful stream from its mouth or tail. Huh. Yeah, to kind of show you how much I focus on capturing monsters, uh... So, at the beginning, obviously, I didn't know how to capture monsters, and I don't think you can capture monsters at the very start of this game, so... Uh, kind of notice this as a curve. 53, 21 captured. 31, 18 captured. Uh, 33, 20 captured. 23, uh, 16 captured. 
16, 14 captured, uh, 21, 17 captured, 43, 37 captured, 29, 19 captured, uh, ZZ, 21, 18 captured, 19, Falumu, 19, 16 captured, uh, Great Gyros, 15, 11 captured, Radobon, 24, 20 captured, uh, Ligiana, 29, 23 of them captured, uh, Odegaron, 42, 37 captured, Rathalos, 28, 19 captured, uh, Diablos, 24, 13 captured, obviously you can't capture Wyvern or Zora Maguros, uh, Dodogama, 25, 14 captured, Pink Raytheon, uh, 12, 10 captured, uh, Basil Goose, 18 out of 18, perfect record, Devil Drill, 13 out of 13, perfect record, <laughs> Lava Soth, uh, 31, 30, there were, mistakes were made, mistakes were made, uh, Uragon, 18 out of 16. Uh, Girathalos, 18 out of 16. Black Diablos, 15 out of 7. Yeah, he's a lot harder to actually capture. Uh, can't capture Negagante, Tiestra, or Lunastra. Pretty much, that's... Oh, no, Piotitas, 5, 6 out of 6, 3 out of 3. Yeah, I kind of... Kind of have a thing. Kind of have a thing. Uh, player list. Here. Hey, Levin's here. Perfect. Uh... How do I invite you? Then guild card? I'm gonna assume it's then guild card. I hope it's that. It has been a very long time since I've actually done this. I oh I gotta take a look here. Uh inspect equipment? No, view profile. Let's take a look here. No, that's that's the Steam page. Although you have a very adorable Kirby profile. Was it equipment? Oh, you got a hunting horn. Ooh, you got a lot of fancy stuff. You got a lot of cool stuff, actually. That is impressive. Uh, really? I can't see your, uh, well, I guess... Bit over here? Guild card? Oh, maybe you can only look at your guild card. Guild card list? No, that's not it. Has heads on a monster wall, but the monsters are actually standing out there. I was like, that is exactly what I do. Look, they work a diligent... They work a diligent five-hour shift of looking awesome, and then they get to go on break. They get to go on break. They, they get to go on break. I guess I don't know how to actually view your stuff. How do I invite you? I'm honestly asking that question. Uh, no, no, that's not it. How? Oh, invite a friend? No. How do you invite people? I'm being kind of dumb here on this. B eleven. There you go. B picks up guild card. So, how do I invite you? Player list? It might be player list. Uh, player list. Shoot. No. Appoint quest leader. Do people just... Oh, I guess people just join. I think uh -huh. that might be it. Well, let's, let's hunt a pink Rathian. Yeah, we all know a pink Rathian. Probably need the quest first. That's probably what I need, actually. Rathian trap set up. And what were pink Rathians week two? Been a while. I don't even remember what pink Rathians were week two. Pink Rathians, you were week two. Really? Dragon? Why is it always dragon? Oh, that's probably it, actually. So then I probably can go to player list and then I can invite you. Um. Uh, oh? How do you join? Not from player list. Oh, okay, so he can actually just join freely. Okay, awesome.
Devil Joe weapon specialty. I'll be honest, the Witcher Sword is better. The Witcher Sword is better than the Devil Joe and Nergigante. I'll never get tired of this eating. Although I, I would, I did actually did use the um, the bite for a while, actually. Uh, yeah, it does. Uh, let me just go Witcher Silver Sword. Here we go. Use this loadout. Oh, uh, equipment. Yeah, so the Silver Sword 266 uh, with 330 by default. I think if I go here, it should say what my current stats are. Yeah, so 283 and 500. Like, that's with all of the gems. Like, we're talking max. Um, we're talking max uh, gems. If I could actually show it. Here we go. Perfect. Yeah, so 6 out of 6 dragon attack. And that's 283 compared to uh, Fatal Bite 308 and 210. And then where's Eradication Vanguard 294 and 150. Kind, kind of just, just a little bit better. I mean, the white sharpness is definitely a bonus. All right. Sorry about that, Puffball. Um, well, I'll stand by for departure whenever you're ready. Are you ready? Let's go. Last time using Sword and Shield, using Master, uh, the Master Sword in Link's Breath of the Wild outfit on Generations Ultimate. Oh yeah, that was a thing. How was that, actually? And I am guessing you got teleported right next to the monster. I'm gonna guess you got teleported right next to the monster. I actually... Well, they do actually offer stuff. Let me grab some of those. Free potions are free potions. Oh, wait, a full... Why is a full Garanginath doing here? I'm... I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? What the heck is this thing? It is up there. Probably should actually use this one. Unless it literally just flew away. I remember like the the north side more than I do the south side of this area. Heck did you go? Okay, so it's down there. It's a fun and good way to experience old school Monster Hunter since it's a bit more player friendly. Honestly, this has been a very pl uh, fl uh, player friendly experience. All right, let's see what Levin looks like here. I kind of hang on, son. You're, you're gonna indulge me for a second, Levin. I want to take an awesome picture of you if I can actually learn to actually take a picture properly. <laughs> or maybe not. Perfect. It was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. It was, it was totally worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> what weapon? You're, no, you're using a hunting horn. That's the hammer. I'll do my best to try and take care of the tail then. <laughs> oh, really? Defle oh no, luncheons? Was it? Oh, I was probably hitting you. That's probably what that was. Oh, 
Oh no, it, that's definitely deflection. <laughs> it's definitely deflection. Oh dear. Oh, I'm really deflection with white sharpness? Problems. Many problems. I'm just gonna wear this. Or maybe not. There. That will keep me alive. Good combo by the Rathian. And I have burned through all of my stuff. This is terrible. This is deflecting me. I'm honestly surprised. Alright, I'm just gonna mount you. This is actually getting silly. I need to stop for a moment. Need him down on the ground. I can't even hit its tail. I'm surprised. All right, he's coming down. Oh. I'm just get up. Or it could get paralyzed. All right, that works. No, no, that's fine again. That's when he's back down on the ground again. Oh, I was. Okay, I guess he... This is a sweet spot, then, where he... Uh, yep, yeah, well, definitely a sweet spot. Look at this, your Palico has a Wonder Blade. I love the Plunder Blade, actually. You're not rusty at all, Levin. You're a baller, man. Also, you look very fancy. I think that was everything? Slinger? Really? It already dropped a bomb? That's surprising. Alright, where did you go? Now oh, you just... Literally just went down. At least I think it went down. Did it go down? It did definitely went down. And it's fighting the Anginath again. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. Is there a higher sharpness than white? Oh yeah, your Palico definitely has a Blunder uh, Blade. Honestly, the Artemis set is silly good, actually, for, like, newbies. I probably should not stumble you. <laughs> not interrupt a hunting horn. I've learned. I dare believe know that much. Oh, no. I can't even hit your tail. What am I doing? Let's attack the wings. There's a purple sharpness. Interesting. Oh, 
You already broke its face. Jeez. I'm getting that tail. I'm getting that tail. I'm actually curious what the pink Rathian armor looks like now. How are you getting the blinds off of this thing? Horn has a move that can cut tails. It can? That's the furriest hunting horn I've also ever seen in my life. Probably actually the only hunting horn I've ever seen in my life. That looks nice. Alright, where did it go this time? Not remember which way. Let's, where the heck did it go? Is sector five. Oh, literally there. Lumu. Nope. Ah, darn deflections. So here's the question, why would you want to use hammer over a hunting horn anyway? Is it just that much more damage then? <laughs> okay, maybe actually the range of a longsword makes a little more sense. B button. Hammer does more damage as you need time to KO monsters. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. Also, this is so many buffs. I've never had this many buffs in my life. This is amazing. Also, constantly <laughs> getting run over. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Never mind. He's asleep. He just wants a nap. Oh no, oh, he's almost dead, he's almost dead. Ah, oh, darn it, he 
Ninja already turned off. Oh well. Alright, time to capture him. Where did you go, buddy? Where are you going? Got a copious amount of traps to get to capture you with. Like this one? Probably should just use the mount. Probably should just use oh. That's why you go full caveman when you use hammer. Okay, that makes more sense of why you would use hammer. Still, I would imagine using hammer or even hunting horn as like as at least solo. I would imagine it would be difficult. I think he's this way. I'm 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 guessing he's this way. Oh, you have one on one of the capes, don't you? Oh no, you know you don't. That's got to be the leggy on our armor set you're wearing. I love how fast you can move in this game. It's like the things you would move fast, in reality you'd move as slow as heck. What the? Uh... No, don't wake them up! Ah, oh, well. Darn. Darn. It's fine. It's fine. Put him there. There we go. <laughs> Oh, that's good fun. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> disband? What? Oh, I see. Okay, I see. You have to actually disband. Okay. I can see what the pink Rathion, uh, Rathion set looks like. Let's see. Oh, so basically it's just pluses. Take that. And, ooh, a defense gem. Sex <laughs> Rodeo Champ Support All-Star. That's a lot of buffs, holy crap. Out of curiosity, love and health, much have you been playing? If Falcon is in the new world, that's big news, but not the good kind. We Do you know what you're doing with the weapon? You can solo any of them. Forest. That makes sense. Let's go on an expedition and have a look around. I think this is where we do the. Yeah, this is where we do the thing. Hey, Rider. Hey, the guys got me some Rathalo shell. I think I actually uh, upgrade my uh, Corona now. Mine. What we got here? I think the one thing I'm missing right now is. I'm not gonna get on list. You played a lot back in September and October. Uh, uh, out of curiosity, since this game has been out since 2018, uh, what year? You knew about the cunning attack, but could never pull it off for some reason. I, here's the thing, I know a lot of this game's mechanics or, or move sets for a lot of weapons is really difficult. Get some Ogadons. Like, doesn't, like, the long swords has, like, a, a counter-attack that's supposed to be, like, super difficult to pull off? We're in charge of finding any changes in the ancient forest. Let's go on an expedition and have a look around. Items. I'll just... I think this is, like, my versatile set if I wanted to use, like, the demon drugs and such. Alright, here, hold on a second. I'm curious. There's Pink Rathian. Wrathheart, here we go. Oh, you look like the hunter. Oh, that's neat. Oh, you definitely look like the hunter. Or the huntsman. You have, actually. Rathian Essence extends the duration of your poison's effect on monsters. Oh, 
that's pretty cool, actually. Cool, a specialist, handicraft. Oh, handicraft's actually useful. Windproof. Oh, that's my necklace. <clears throat> Fade extender, poison resistance, and cliffhanger. Huh, cool. It's a bit difficult and isn't really worth it being funny that can horn can cut off its tail. Hey, you apply enough pressure, you can cut off anything. Let me see here. So, nighty night. Oh, an actual capture mission. Eh, I could use more Aluma. Actually, what do monster rank threes have? That's the Rathalos, that's Legiana. Oh, this has all of the big boys. You know, and I'll just keep doing the monster rank twos. Let's actually capture. It, wait, in the ancient forest? What a pow- What the heck's- Did we just get rid of, like, all of the regions or something for everything? And, oh, bollocks. I don't even know what a Paolum is actually weak to. Um... Hey, uh, Paper Star, or Levin. Do you, do you know what they're weak to? <laughs> I wouldn't mind actually leveraging the weakness. I mean, the blast is perfectly fine. I mean, was it? The, the Paolumu is actually weak to its own weapon. It says what? Really? Water, huh? Oh, I could actually do something then. That means... I could actually upgrade you. Let's see, can I make another one of these? No, I can't. I'd have to actually go get the materials for it. Ice. You know what? Let's actually upgrade this since it says water element. That actually gives it even more sharpness. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> and then our last one. What does this give me then? Change equipment. Let's see, 530. Oh wait, set decorations, I have a free decoration. Apparently I haven't been putting on any of my decorations. What am I missing? Attack boost. This. That, okay, I'm using both of my attack gems. Um, what was it? Mind's Eye, that's what it was. That's one of my favorites, is Mind's Eye. Lighter, Charger, Printer, Crisis. There's so many of these things. It's honestly kind of overwhelming. Satiated. And yeah, let's just go for stuff. Oh, maybe, actually, no. Sprinter. Eh, doesn't matter. Actually, that did not make sense at all, honestly. Uh, we'll just go with draw. Actually, no, what am I doing? Uh, there's the... Gunpower... Eh, gunpower it is. Alright, let me just go eat something, and then I will... Do it now. Puffball Kappa. <laughs> that's your Steve profile name. Oh, that's a good one. Kappa got stung by a bee. Now his face is big. Sorry, I just love. I love that. I love the cooking. Alright. I'm ready to go. I'm surprised you don't want in on this dank magician. I thought you owned Monster Hunter World. Wait, let me guess. You have a policy of kill, of killing every monster, don't you? And I have uh, no. Oh, I'm literally right by the Palumu. Oh, you don't have it on PC. I gotcha. The heck, unknown footprints. What? Oh, I should probably actually grab some of these footprints then. Footprint. Well, 
Wait, that's still unknown? Otherwise you would have joined ASAP. Gotcha. Wait. If that's an... Wait, then what the heck did... If there's an unknown on the field, what the heck am I... Alright, you know, this is uh, not a time to ask these type of questions. It is not a time to ask these type of questions. Oh, come on, really? You're gonna move over there? Uh, where the heck is it going? Oh, it's going over here. Okay, I'll never understand what monkey means. Like, I, I see people actually talk, like, say that, like, return to monkey, but I'll never... I don't get it? Oh, oh. Wait, monkey? Wait, there's a monkey in this game? Just gonna... Oh, what? Alright, uh, you wanna take a big whack at it since it fell asleep? <laughs> I know you do more damage than me. Go on, let's see how much damage you can do. <laughs> That's a fancy one. Oh, I'm gonna fall asleep, aren't I? Yep, I'm gonna fall asleep. Oh, the owl. Oh, you can. Oh, that's actually intelligent. I love it. This is a terrible place to fight, though. There was a slinger thorn? There was a slinger thorn right here. There it is. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna take a nap. <laughs> just wait there to get one of these guys to hit me. No, no, it's too late. I'm good. He's gonna get wrapped up in its own net. done a hundred damage before in this game. That's insane. Panjo music intensifies. I don't even know what I'm hitting any. Oh, I'm hitting the Jaggers. Alright. Okay, it's, it's walking away. Beautiful, beautiful scales. Ooh, you have a... What's that outfit for? Wait, I think I've seen that. That's the... Oh, that's the one with, like, you get, a, uh, Like, the set gives tickets, I think? I don't fully understand that set. Oh, really? Come on. 
let's let's not. Alright, alright, let's do it. Yeah, but hopefully it was me. <laughs> oh, I see. So it sucks up all the clouds around it. Huh. I saw a slinger torch there. Apparently not. Just... There you go. Thank you. Thank you, Peldu. Ah, sorry, <laughs> couldn't get to you in time. Stupid slinger torch. I was wondering where that was. Time to run. Jagras, Jagras. Antonath, the love you, buddy, but now's not the time. Ooh, is this the area where you do the... Well, it was the area. Get you over. It's kind of like a Rathalos versus Rathion situation here. Kind of what I'm pulling from this. Can I, like, disperse this with fire? No, you cannot. Somewhere. <laughs> Don't know how that happened, but okay. almost already dead. No, it's just really exhausted. I don't know, maybe it actually is almost dead. God, how much does the Plunder Blade just do? The horn is literally a banjo. I think that's one reason I actually love this game. It has, like, a comical element to it. Like, I heard, like, the hammers used to be drills. And that, to me, is just like, that's just amazing. Like, when your hammers are drills. Antonath. 
This Anginath has clearly problems if it needs to constantly take a crap everywhere. Doesn't do it. It's a hammer had a drill on it. Oh, it's hammer had a drill on it. Okay. Oh, I'm. Yeah, I'm just gonna fall asleep. <laughs> I think I like this a lot more than the. Um, what was it? Gabadon, I think it was called. Gabadon. Just simply because. It has that, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna go in there. <laughs> I know what's gonna happen to me. Build a sleep resistance. Probably make some sleep on for this fight. Here. All right, those bugs are a lot more aggressive now, aren't they? I actually like this new water weapon. This does a lot of damage. I don't think I've ever done more damage in my life with any weapons. I wouldn't expect the water weapons of all things to do the most damage. Coming through. You captured monster with some materials you have to carve, I think. I... I've never been able to confirm that, honestly. I... Whoops, that's the wrong thing. That was definitely the wrong thing. You got it.
off your thingy. Alright, fine, I'm gonna have to make some crap. This thing has to be near dead. Are you are nowhere near dead? I guess I'll just wait for you to fall asleep then. I'm having trouble getting Devil Joe Rubies, capturing it. I started getting them when I said screw it and killed them. Huh. Alright. I honestly would have thought he would have been dead already. Oh well. I'll just have to wait till he falls asleep then. Guess he's just all tranked up then. Oh, I love the slide attacks. Those are always fun. Tail's already broken. Oh, oh, well now it's almost dead. Okay, stop. <laughs> we gotta capture this one, actually. <laughs> actually capture this one, and I only have one I only have one trap left, unfortunately. The record must survive. I mean, not really, but if it happens, hey, it happens. What the? Really? Okay, you know what? I normally um, I'm just gonna take a ride. Just, just gonna take a ride this time. Jagras, please help me out here, buddy. You see an X where the monster is almost dead? Yeah, that's one thing that I never understood for a while. Oh, did it really just... I don't know, I guess it's still not asleep yet. The heck is this thing going? Oh, it's probably going over the nest. Okay, you're there, you're there, there. Honey. Oh, don't tell me the freaking Jagras is keeping it up. It is. Oh, come on, really? Wait, can a monster kill another monster? Serious question. Can a monster kill another monster? Actually hide. Is there a way to hide? Yes, and for oh my god, they actually can. Kind of want to see that now. But where the heck is it going? Oh, come on. I probably actually should wait. Oh, it's not going too far. At least it was? Is? This Paolumu is very confusing. He's trying his best. He needs to find a place to sleep. I'm always worried about hunters when they sn that That sniffing sound. That sniffing sound.
should probably actually just hide. Is he asleep? Is he gone to sleep? No, no, he hasn't. He has not fallen asleep yet. I had Devil Joe kill Great Jagras using like club. Oh, that's gotta be rough. Are you asleep, buddy? Actually, I can't even see him. Where the heck is he? Where the heck is he? Am I blind? I'm okay. I'm blind. I'm blind. <laughs> I'm just blind. <laughs> I don't know how to read my own minimap. God, I think that uh, my most used item in this game is probably traps and trank bombs. It's gotta be like my most. Ooh, a weapon gem. Let's see. Aw, oh, grinder. I swear, I did like that. What's that event? The Lava Soft one? Where you get, um, so many different, ooh, new food. Glacial vodka and toasting tequila. This calls for a drink. Why are we talking about the pickle killing Great Jaggers? Because he barely can kill it. I was, I was wondering if monsters could actually kill other monsters. Apparently it can. If Velcon is in the new world, that's big news. But not the good oh, that's a good Suntory whiskey. We're in charge of finding any changes in the ancient forest. Let's go on an expedition and have a look around. Dude, Devil, Devil, okay, Devil Joe is actually still a hard fight. Devil Joe will always be a consistently difficult fight. Like no matter what. Oh my God, his weakness is is water. It's po okay, poison paralysis blast. Okay, so you, I could have still used the blast then. No. Oh god, that's actually so Oh god, I think I just set my mouth on fire drinking my whiskey. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had some whiskey. Alright, let's take a look here and see what else we got here. What are the other missions we have here? Also, this is a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun, Levin. Thanks for coming along and actually jo and, uh, joining in on this. Let's see what other optional missions I've got here on the list. I'll probably do maybe a couple more. You're actually you're a really good hunter, man, <laughs> with that hunting horn. It's impressive. Actually, you know you might be able to answer this paper star. I saw you wearing the armor. And I have to ask, you were probably wearing the layered. Um, I think I think it was layered at least. Um, why can he? Oh no, there's. Uh, oh, maybe it wasn't the layered armor. Yeah, right, yeah, the oolong set here. Yeah, this this is what I saw you wear. I don't, I don't understand the set bonus for this. Do you know what the set bonus? does do you just get like like obviously we're not during a, like an event time but do you still get tickets because when it comes to the melding tickets are apparently really important you have no idea okay it's like I'm torn if I should actually make this I mean honestly in terms of actual stuff like constitution critical eye critical eye is actually really solid you know, it's actually pretty solid, honestly. But I was always curious, like, do you actually get the, uh... The actual tickets, or is this, like, an armor you can o you should only use during the event? Like, that's why I'm just using the, um... What is it? What's this armor called again? Um, I feel bad for saying that, but I only just... Artemis, that's it. The Artemis armor. Alright. 
Oh, you know what? We can actually fight a Puke Puke. Or a Puke Puke. Do I? I even know its weakness. I do not know its weakness. Uh, Paper Star, do you know? I'm curious, what actually is this weakness? After feeding the water, attacks from both sides enhance focus on those two areas. Ice and poison. Oh. Alright, well, say ice. Really? No. What about the ailments? I don't really have a upgraded weapon in that respect. I guess I could just use the Lumu. I could just use the Lumu. Oh no, ice and poison. Okay, you said the element. Poison. Um... Do I, I don't even know if I have... Nah, I probably shouldn't do poison, because I want to capture him. Like, in Royal Rose, doesn't... It, it doesn't do that. I'll just... Every... Oh, if I, every other ailment two stars, I'm perfectly fine with that. Two stars is perfectly fine. It's the one stars I'm always like, eh, I shouldn't use this weapon. Have your stuff. Good, we have traps. Alright, now I'm ready to go. Whenever you're ready. Honestly, like, I was about to say, it's like, you know, Jagras actually is still the easiest of the monsters. It, it, that's still the easiest of the monsters. Listas. Oh, I wonder if I could load up the cannons this time. Man, you got all the fancy horns. That's awesome. Downs. I've been trying to finally actually start using these things. Uh-oh. Why? No, no, we're still fine. We're still good. Maybe not. Maybe not. Wonder. Can you actually hit? Ah, uh, you're probably. No, no, it's it's damn. Oh, we can leave camp. I'm gonna take the shot. Okay, my mistake. Wait, how did you drop a piercing pod already? You don't recognize that horn? I don't recognize that horn either. Oh, right, there's a water debuff in this game. Yeah, doing 22 damage versus <laughs> what I was doing like 100 or 50 damage a swing. I mean, the blast is nice though. The blast is nice. I could actually get the blast. Hey, I don't like that. Sorry for this Puke Puke. Oh, never mind. He can <laughs> never mind. Oh, oh god. So 
that is a lot of loot. I'm sorry. I just... Hang on. Man. I got that. Just... Okay, never mind. God, you can knock him down forever. Oh, okay, right. There are different shares. I guess there are diminishing returns. <laughs> okay, I do like fighting these new varieties. Oh no. I'm just gonna stand under you. That seems to be the answer. That is definitely actually the answer to this. I have it downloaded on my Switch, but I, I'm, let's just say I'm really bad at actually making the time to actually play it. I feel like that's what I'm trying to do now is, like, my stream time has always been my game time now. It's, that's pretty much what it's become. Like, that's really what I try and do now. But I'm trying to teach myself how to program. I'm trying to build up a portfolio and write some guys on OBS. And so there's a lot of little things I'm trying to do now. I just realized, is the Dragonator actually... Oh. <laughs> I've always relied on that for these things. God, there's so much loot. There's so many piercing pots, too. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely likes it. It's, it's trying to get that balance, and I realize if I want to keep streaming, 
as terrible as it actually is in terms of practice, like if you actually want to do streaming, it, it, it's it, it's an irony, honestly. Like the bigger you are, as like in terms of viewers and such, as a streamer, the actual easier it is to do just the simple things. Like you ever think of like some of the biggest streamers or the biggest streamers who get the biggest viewerships, whether it's politics, cooking, world, or, news, um, not the good kind. well, unfortunately, I'm just going to say just looking pretty. And that applies to men and women. Let's go on an because trust me, they, they do exist. They're just on different platforms than Twitch. What? Um, like, what is it, right? Uh, what's that? What is that one? There's a new beauty. There's a new beauty. Um, streaming platform that the former president of Twitch. Yeah, just chatting. Just chatting, for example. Like, just chatting has a lot of potential. Let me just say that. But I feel like it definitely needed, uh, it, well, it definitely needs, um, what do you call it? It definitely needs a wider set of categories. And obviously they're going to be doing that because browsing and discoverability on Twitch is, is, is outdated. It just doesn't work, unfortunately. It doesn't actually help anyone. You know what, let's just do the rest of the uh, level twos here. I'll probably finish off these two here if you're game loving and then I'll just stop for the night. I feel like two more fights is probably good. That was the, oh, that was the Legiana horn. Oh. Man, you got all the horns. Uh, what were you doing again? All oh, right, dragon. A pink rat. Pink Rathian was weak against dragon. Let's see. Lord. But no, like the bigger amount of viewership, the easier it is for you to get away with just doing something as simple as like playing video games and such. Just because it's what people. Not what people want. Like, yes, it is what people want. Because it's more about just simply being able to actually connect. Because I would always view streaming as not a way to build a viewership, but just a way to connect to your viewers. To actually really just be able to sit down and talk to them. Talk to them about whatever you actually want to talk about. And obviously there'll be limitations. Like for me, I kind of have a limit on pol uh, limit, limit, uh, limited tolerance when it comes to politics because there's saying things and then it's actually writing the legislation and actually making a difference. And the only reason I have that little tolerance for it is just simply because I've worked in various occupations that involve public assistance or medical that actually involves actually helping people. And you're already ready to go. Awesome. Uh, where are my items? Sorry, I'm gonna be that guy. All right, I'm good to go. Last time you checked Jess chatting, it was primarily body painting. No, like, ironically enough, it'll always be body paintings. Well, body painting is a confusing category to actually tackle. It really is. Like, there's definitely, I feel like there's definitely a place for it. But I don't know if it's actually on Twitch. I really actually can't make that judgment call if it actually belongs on Twitch or not. Because it's it's that it's that borderline. It's that argument of like, are you actually naked for viewers or are you naked for you know, are you actually naked because you're actually doing the art? And it really, unfortunately, it comes down to viewership. It comes down to viewership. And the viewers, I probably would say, unfortunately, very, very few are actually coming for the art. Ooh, wait, will this hit you? No, it does not. Okay. That is definitely not how you aim a cannon. Not working is one of the few ways to actually make it. You're actually that you know that's actually one of the um, unspoken truths about streaming. If you really actually want to talk about that, one of the unspoken truths about streaming is you look at some of the biggest streamers out there who, and we're talking like this is early, so whether it could actually work or not anymore, it's a 50-50. Yeah, it's a 50-50. Um, you do need people to support you, and it could be something as simple as 
the heck are you doing, buddy? Come on. Did that actually hit you? Ah, uh, one of them hit you. Really? I thought it was actually far away. Let's get out. Let's just use the mountain. The way some of the body. See, I'm not familiar with that scene. I'm not going to talk about their personality. I'm just going to talk about the content. And well, no, I'm not going to talk about the content. I'm going to talk about the viewers. And unfortunately, I have to assume the lowest common denominator with viewers that, well, you're probably gonna actually watch them because you like looking at the person. Yeah, you're there. Oh, it's wings are actually still a weak point on this. Sweet. They need the fog. Uh, like I said, I, I feel like there's definitely a good place that they can actually do it. I don't know if it's on Twitch. Because it's that borderline exhibitionism. And, you know, the pl entire platform streaming is all exhibitionism. It just depends on... Oh, the viewer? Yeah, the, the viewers definitely need the bomb. The viewers need the bomb. I mean, let's be honest, demographically, it's Twitch is still a primarily male demographic, and I hope that that will obviously change over time, and it'll change because of the content. It'll change because of the content. Oh god, the light just flashed over my eyes with that fireball. Never mind, there it was. <laughs> Look, it, it, this is a hard truth. It's hard to say. The ironic part is, if you were like just making a female avatar, whether it's yourself or a character, uh, it still gets you a lot of viewers. Whether it's Rosa John or not. Okay, how the heck was the I not? Pretty unlucky there on that. There's a lot of unfortunate, ugly truths you have to actually say, but realize, though, just because you're pretty doesn't mean you're actually going to build a viewership. Like, th I think that's the one of the big things when people actually talk about, like, looks in streaming. You're never just... Please, aim at the right tail. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, the double KO! Jesus Christ, love it, you're a machine! Like, if you have an, uh, an existing viewership, you, your chances of seeing on Twitch or any streaming platform, it's just skyrockets. Like, I think, if anything, that's the big thing. I mean, that's why a lot of, like, people who do, like, coaching and such when it comes to streaming basically say you have to create a following elsewhere. Whether it's TikTok, it could be YouTube, it could be any... where... Unfortunately, due to the lack of discoverability tools on Twitch, chances are you're probably not gonna build a viewership. Like, unless you are doing it by proxy. And I feel like the perfect example if we're gonna bring talk about the first on John, Juker. He is an excellent streamer, and he does everything right in terms of connecting with his viewers. And he does community content because he has enough people to actually join on in on the fun. He's got friends. Actual friends he can count on and actually be there for his streams to hang out and have fun, and that makes a huge difference. There's a lot of people out there who have a good set of friends, but I feel I'm I'm chasing the tail. I'm, ta I'm literally chasing a tail here. <laughs> like Jupiter would be a case study of like you got his viewership from knowing from getting to know John. 
and a lot of John's viewers were were because of John, but not anymore. Like they're there for the long haul now. They're there for Juker. They're there for Juker's friends and stuff. They're there for the games. I'm getting live. This tail if it's the last thing I do. Oh, you face. <laughs> Please hit the tail. I always love it when I just can't hit the darn target. It's weird you found Juker through Dan. Really? Now that's interesting. My sword and my sword is too short to actually hit the tail. So you found John Stream, you're really into game jumps and thought he was John. <laughs> you would you know what? You'd be surprised how many times he's actually heard that. You'd be surprised how many times he's actually heard it. Also, I oh my I should fix that. That's actually information that he should know. The money. And like one thing like that's always kind of a guessing game for a lot of streamers is like how are people finding me? Again, I think Dan knows it. Okay. Well, if he knows it, then I'm not going to worry about it. That's kind of one of the other big things. It's just one big guessing game for a lot of streamers because they don't, they don't know how to actually really use the analytics to their advantage. Because usually they'll find it like, well, this is the type of content people actually like watching, and that's good, but they don't know where they're actually being found. I think we'll get off this tail, eh? Oh, 
Hopefully we'll actually walk into it. Probably will. I'm not gonna worry about the tail. Are you actually done? Yeah, you've been done for a while. Flinger bomb. Now the thing about it explaining how often people confuse it from John Tron. Yo, no, it it happens a lot. It happens so much just because. It, it it's like, what what was that? What's that diagnosis? Where you like associate words backwards? Dyslexic. That's it. You found Joker because of the- No, no, I, I definitely understand your point. Like, that's honestly, like, super interesting to me, actually. Like, when people find other people... ...through the most unexpected ways. I would honestly- I would, like... If is in the new world, just simply because of probability, news, I would guess... Time. I would have guessed John. Proton John. We are in charge no doubt. Any changes in the ancient forest. But no, going back, like, you can't just have a look, look pretty when it comes to streaming. You actually have to have additional talent. Like, all of those people who can do body painting and stuff, what they're doing, it actually takes a lot of talent. You know, I would, you could probably actually argue the hook is probably actually because they're, you know, whether they're, they look attractive. One more, that's the Nightshade Paolumu. All right, we'll probably do this last one and then I'll stop here. It's actually fun. I don't mind actually doing this. How long it takes to go through each chapter. Just complete this last one here. I also think, uh... Found me through, I think, Cupo? Cupo? Oh, do you mean, um... Oh, goodness, um... Sunshine? I want to say Sunshine. Um, because she runs a store. Oh, wait, shoot. I need water. I need a water weapon. I can definitely see why people actually like Celiana also a lot better than, um... What? No, there is. Oh, the artist, Cupo. Artist? I'm gonna have to look that up, actually. I'm curious how you'd find me. I I definitely need to look. I need I need to work on actually communicating with people and actually balancing time with people. You found you on your recommended, remembered, uh, from John's stream? Yeah, that makes sense. I, I barely show up on CoCom, because, let's be honest, I'm not exactly the most magnanimous person. <laughs> I think if I wanted to actually be a lot more remembered, I should probably just lean into the horny. <laughs> just, just lean in on that fun aspect. The problem is, though, uh, since most of the characters are John, it's a little weird. <laughs> it's a little weird, honestly. I, I think I'm ready to go. I know it was part of a raid. I don't remember if it was from Juco, Dan, or Fahrenheit. It was, okay, Fahrenheit raids me. Fahrenheit does raid me. That I would understand completely. Outright, I would understand. I know Juker doesn't raid me, Dan doesn't raid me. I didn't I didn't know Cupo streamed though. I really gotta look up Cupo. Definitely gonna be what I'm gonna do immediately after this stream. Yeah, because Farron does a lot of RPGs and such. And he's super good at games, like the Game Sharks challenges and such. Like back when I did those, he was super good at those challenges. Cause it was always like, 
either me or him just figuring out everything. Like I was, on, I only participated in season one. I don't. He wasn't even part of like the group officially, or in part of the competition until um, until maybe season two. I think it was. Like I pretty much stopped at season one. Let's see if I can actually hit him. Can I? Oh, this will be amazing. Ah, three shots. That, that's better. Crazy sunshine. That's it. I always, I always forget the crazy part. I always forget like her actual. Well, that's a happy accident. What are you using? Oh, you're using the, um, insect blade. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh god, you can spin for days. Goku? Never. Oh, <laughs> out of your way there. Oh my god, he's already broken a part off, too. God damn, beloved. See, that's why I would want to learn, like, that's the reason I would want to learn the insect play. One of my favorite classes in Final Fantasy is the Dragoon class. It's the Dragoon class. Like... But it was really difficult, actually, trying to learn how to use the, um, insect play. Really? Like, already? I mean, I'm not gonna say no. Well, you've already broken a wing. Wow, you've already broken a wing. Wow. Oh, well, there goes the second one. Only one more part that I see to actually break. The no Rajang fight or what fans? Oh! Oh, so there's a monster. Wait, so there's a Super Saiyan? I don't know how. I don't know when you actually fight this monkey. Yeah, I guess if you're literally calling so no Rejang. Okay, so I guess Rejang is literally what, um, what do they call it in Dragon Ball? Ozuru, that's it, an Ozuru. Is that is that what you're basically saying? Rejang is a monkey that goes super safe. Well, we're definitely not doing it tonight. I don't know how far deep we have to go in this game to be able to fight this the monkey. I'm actually surprised we have a monkey. What do you call it? Um, a monkey monster, actually, out of all the creativity. I mean, from my personal experience of just playing this game, I would say that most of the monsters in this game are um, birds, base or birds and dragons, or birds and lizards. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I'll be honest, I've been very entertained by this game. I, just, I can't... It's hard to say 200 plus hours and say, Oh no, I've hated this game. 
It's like, no, this, this is why people play Warframe, for example. That's beautiful. That is beautiful to see. I'm just actually gonna sharpen my weapon here. And the only, the only thing, wait, there's, it beats Devil Joe? Really? That's actually surprising to hear. You know, I would tell other people that too. I would tell other people that too. <laughs> I mean, like, the Elder Dragons are they're in a class of their own still, but... <laughs> okay, so you know an actual good insect play players. Fun to see. being able to use both of the stamina bars. Oh, stop doing a combo. Oh dear. How? Oh, you have fleet resistance, don't you? Just gotta take a bit of a nap. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Ah, oh, shoot, I got hit too. And <laughs> that took a while to fall asleep. Magical question. He's classified as a fang beast along with Tonga Longa and Longonga? Who? Who the heck are those people? Monsters, I guess. Okay. And nope. 
this. Come on. I can get it down again. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. Starting to get good instincts on that capturing. You have so much health. I was 11, you look awesome. It's a nice set. I also have a very nice lance. Early game monkeys, one farts, one throws ice. <laughs> well, hopefully they'll make the cut in uh, Monster Hunter Rise. Ooh, which one's this? Oh, another guardian expert. Alright, I think that's gonna do it for me tonight. It's almost midnight. That's usually when I cut things off here. I think I'll be doing this for next for next couple of streams, honestly. Just to be if able to go through the um world, that's big news. Go through the but story mode a little cut. bit at a time and then I'll split it in half with uh We're in charge of finding if people want to actually play a forest. couple. Let's go on an expedition and have I, a look around. A little bit torn if I should actually do um do the play play along with the first half and then the second half just simply because I know it can get very late depending on time zones, but uh, 11, a paper cut though. Dude, thanks so much for tagging along there. A lot of fun. And for now, a lot of fun. And for now though, I think that's gonna do it for me tonight here, but yeah, I wanna take a look and see who else is streaming here. I always love giving a few uh, references here if you're always looking for other people to watch. The Witcher Hunt. Oh man, the Leshen. The ancient. Okay, the Leshen is fine. I could deal with the Leshen. Ancient Leshen. Yeah, I'm amazed I was able to even get a pug group to actually make that work. That was a rough fight. That is easily up there. Like the Behemoth, Ancient Leshen. You know, I'll honestly say like any of the dragons or you know the dragon class ones. Those were all still pretty rough to actually deal. Those are all. At least to me, they're pretty rough. Um, obviously, Kieran. Elder Dragon, that's the class, actually. But for now, though, let me give some references of some other streamers you might want to check out here. First, of course, you always know Proton John. He's finally actually making uh, video content on YouTube, but it'll be more on a casual basis or on a weekly basis. And he streams, of course, every single Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Next up is Botophobe. If you've never heard of Botophobe, uh, he actually does a lot of uh, activist fundraising for a lot of people down in, if I remember correctly, in Texas, actually. Um, he yeah, usually actually does uh, craft streams, so if you like watching people play, uh, paint uh, Gundams and such, he's definitely a streamer you want to check out. If you like lots of arts and craft streams, looks like currently he's playing the game called Pathologic. Like he's going to be streaming a lot more due to current changes life and finally there's expo a friend of proton john and part of the top down perspective uh podcast which is on thursday nights and he's currently playing through resident evil 2. well another few people who are currently streaming right now if you're looking for some other people to watch for the rest of the night but as for me that's gonna do it for me let's see lesson is tough because i was using Ixen glaive and it's a pretty small target yeah uh that's the only reason i adopted the light bow gun it's like, okay, I need a gun. I can shoot this thing at range. That's literally it. The sword and shield, unfortunately, did not cut for the ancient lesson. Specifically, the ancient lesson. But that's going to do it for me uh, tonight, though. Thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed tonight's stream. But, as always, until then, take care. <laughs>